Hello, I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create this parallax effect in After Effects. So let's open up After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects. And before we get started, I want to say that if you don't want to follow this tutorial or you want to support the channel, you can buy this template that you just saw as a preview on our website where you can just change the pictures, change the text, and you're ready to go. So for those that want to follow the tutorial, let's get started. So what I've done is create a new composition and we will make this like one minute long and rename this to Parallax Comp. Then I'm going to create a new solid here and I'm going to rename this to photo placeholder and click OK. And then I'm going to make this a new precomposition. So uh, layer precompose this and leave all the attributes and rename this to just placeholder or just photo one. Let's uh, call it photo one for now and click OK. So here we are going to um, put our photo in. So let's right click here, import file and we will import a photo. So um, here I have some images. Make sure that you are using some images that can actually get some depth because like right here we can see these buildings on the side and these can really create some nice depth in our par uh, parallax effect. So let's import this image and put that on top of your placeholder. And uh, the placeholder is just for if you don't have any images, um, but for now we can use this image, scale it down a little bit until it fits that composition. Then also position it the way you want it to. So I will put it a little bit more to the top here, like so. Well, actually, I'm not sure why it's not snapping. And there we go. So this is the image that I will be using. I have my parallax comp here. And that, then what I will do is actually uh, go here to the mask tool and search for ellipse tool here. But before we do that, let's toggle the switches and make this a 3D layer. And then we're going to the center of this composition with our mask tool selected and then start dragging out holding control, but also holding alt or uh, shift. <laughs> uh, so control and shift and drag it out until you have like a circle uh, with the dimensions like so. And then we're going to, uh, instead of add, we are going to choose subtract here. So now we can add a camera. So let's add a camera here and yeah, just click OK. Then right click, create a new null object and we're going to parent this null object, uh, the camera to the null object. So we will make that null object also a 3D layer. And the null object is just going to be the control of our camera. So let's drag and parent the uh, camera with this null. So it follows the, the null. And we're going to rename this to control camera, okay? So now if we're going to the top view, for example, we're going to see um, our 2D image here. And if we're going to duplicate this, and actually, if you see camera, you can see um, these sides here. If you kind of look at that, um, we can just position this a little bit further. And let's see in the position here. So maybe like 300 further, okay. Something like this, so we have a lot of depth. And then we're going to scale this up. So just go to the active camera here and scale it up until it fits the composition. Okay, then we can double click on the mask and make it smaller. So again, holding, uh, actually going to one of these corners, holding Control and Shift, just make it smaller, just a little bit. And we can actually put this below the other photo so we get a gradual uh, outer circle, inner circle. And actually this is a little bit too, too much. So I'm going to scale it up a little bit. So if you're going to check this one and this one, a little bit of like two centimeters in between, um, so I'm going to duplicate this one again and the bottom one I'm going to press P on the keyboard and move it like 600 uh, right now. So each what so each time I'm going to jump like 300 pixels. Then I'm again going to scale this up holding shift and double clicking on the mask tool and again control shift and making it smaller. Then hit enter and check if everything is okay. So I think this is okay. Duplicate it again, again with the bottom one. I'm going to put it at like nine, 900. Scaling it up, and there we go. And again, this mask tool. And there we go. And duplicate it one more time. Well, actually, 
uh, after that one more time. So then position it at one uh, again with a jump of 300, uh, scale it up, and again smaller. And then one last time, we're going to delete the mask actually. Delete and then right over here and scale it up. And there we go. So now we have our image here. And if you want to change that image, uh, you can just import uh, one of your other images and drag this image onto that composition and it will instantly change on each uh, each of these compositions because we are working with compositions. Uh, so now we have this. Uh, what we can do now is go to the control camera, press P on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch uh, for the position and then move like five seconds into time and then just zoom in like so. And if we're going to look at this animation, you can really get the 3D feel here. So it's not going to be perfect because we're working with circles, but this is a stylistic choice. So if you want to know how to do the 2.5D 3D, the real thing, you can check out my other tutorial. I have a tutorial on that as well. Um, but this is more a stylistic choice because you can actually see these circles. It's not perfect. And actually we don't want it to be perfect. So you can actually scale some of these a little bit long, a little bit more, a little bit less. And this gets a nice stylistic choice. So we're going to play a little bit more with the scale uh, to get some nice offset like right here uh, this can be cool as well and to help it uh, yeah like help it a little bit more we can search for the effect drop shadow so go to effects and preset and drop shadow all right so before we add the drop shadow we'll go to the beginning again and then add this drop shadow to the first layer here so we can see that we have some shadows here and if you click on uh, the toggle mask here we can actually um, delete that for a second so we can see, uh, well, make it invisible. Uh, so right here we can play around with the distance, like 15, um, maybe a uh, position of, well, softness of 25, maybe even more like 50, and then lower the position a little bit, and then also lower the uh, opacity just a little bit. And that's going to add this circle effect to uh, your composition. So you can copy that effect uh, control C and pressing control V while all the other uh, compositions are selected and then you get this shadow on all of your circles and the animation is going to look like this. So I actually like this very much. Um, it's a nice style and you see this a lot on online so you can actually make this shadow a little bit more uh, a little bit less because it's a little bit too uh, too much. But what I've added as well is one of our packs. Um, I'm not sure if anyone knows yet, but um, actually we are working on a new pack uh, with light leaks and that's what I've added to our um, to our image here. So you will be able to download that as well on our website. Um, but right here, if we're going to look at um, our pack, I will just give you a quick overview. So here we have it, the Full HD and the 4K. Uh, so all these uh, are pretty cool. And if I'm going to import one of these, uh, maybe a nice film burn, and we're going to import that and put it on top of our image here. We have this nice image here. And if we change the toggle, well, toggle the switches and change the blending mode to screen, uh, we get that nice effect uh, that you probably know. And this can actually work for an overlay transition. So if you have another image that you want to work with, uh, just trim this down. So we have one composition of one image. And then you can use this as a transition to your other image. So just a quick tip. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really like my pack. <laughs> Of course, uh, else I wouldn't have made it, but uh, it's really helpful, can give you a really cool style. So yeah, that's actually it for this tutorial on how to create the parallax effect. If you liked the tutorial, give it a like, also subscribe to the channel for more. And if you have any questions or recommendations, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much and goodbye.